In this video, I want to share with you a custom script that I created. It accepts a service account access token, and with that access token, it will enumerate all the permissions a service account has and identify any permissions that might lead to privilege escalation. Before I show you the script though, I want to give you just a little bit of context. So if I jump over here, we have this IAM privilege escalation in GCP by Rhino Security Labs. There is a privilege scanner here. I couldn't get it to work, so I kind of remade my own. But the thing I want, big thing I want to point out to you that I found really helpful is there's this current list of GCP IAM privilege escalation methods. What I ended up doing was cr taking this entire list, adding it to a very simple Python script that within like half of a second, it will identify permissions that might be vulnerable, and then you can do a little bit deeper dive on your own. But it takes all the manual work out of it and saves you a bunch of time. If you want to try this out, I'm actually demonstrating this from a lab over on Pwn Labs. Infiltrate GCP via web app exploitation. It is a paid lab on Pwn Labs, so you do need a subscription, but it's worth it. Go get a sub to Pwn Labs. If you've never heard of Pwn Labs, it's sort of like hack the box for the cloud. They have both red team and blue team labs on AWS, Azure, and on GCP. But let me go ahead and show you this script. If we go to my GitHub, which I'll drop a link in the description of this video, and go over to my repos, I have a repo on GCP tooling. Now, there's only one script here right now, so pretty easy to find the script, but it's a I am a brute force permissions.py. Now, you can kind of read through this. It really is a very basic script. We're saving our permissions a test, and I copy those directly from the Rhino GitHub, and then we are just using the access token to hit the endpoint here on Google APIs to check our permissions and checking each one of those permissions to see if we have any of the permissions that we might be able to exploit. Let me go ahead and grab this script, and I'm gonna do nano I am brute force permissions. You can actually see from when I was doing it for the lab. Paste that in, control X, Y, and finally, Let's run it. We'll do Python I am dash H and you can see what it does. It brute force checks GCP permissions with an access token. It only requires two parameters. We need a project ID and a token. Now, if you don't know what those are, that is okay. I am creating an entire mini series on this. Go to my YouTube channel, look at the videos, and I explain this in more detail. But suffice it to say, if you're doing a GCP pen test, you will have a project ID. And if they give you a service account, you'll be able to generate your own token. Or if you compromise a service account, you will have a token. Well, in this case, I have a token right here, an access token for a service account. Let's go ahead and copy this and we'll see if we can run this script. So I'm going to right click copy and I'm going to type out Python three. I am a brute force permissions. We'll do P uh, G R prod two T. And I'm going to paste in my access token just like so and hit enter on my keyboard. When we do that, you can see in like literally, I don't know, one tenth of a second, it checked all of the permissions to see if we have anything that might be exploitable. And it found one right here. It says that our service account has allowed storage HMAC keys create. Now, if we jump back over to that Rhino Security Labs GitHub, that's super helpful, you can see we have that one right here, storage HMAC keys create. We can either see a script to exploit it or go and look at the blog post and see how that can be abused. I'm just gonna do control F and HMAC, and there we go, storage HMAC keys create, and we can read about that privilege escalation path that will either lead to elevating our privileges or at least to lateral movement. So it takes a lot of the manual testing of permissions, speeds it up for you, and allows you to do a little bit of digging. Now, if you like my tool, check it out, but there's a lot of things that we could add to it. So if you wanna to add to it, open a pull request. I think it would be cool if once it identifies a vulnerable permission, it then says, do you want to exploit this? And then it automatically exploits it. Now, I haven't added that, but feel free to take the script, open up a pull request, add it, and I would love to make this even cooler. Very basic basic enumeration script right now, but we could take it to the next level. Just wanted to share that with you. Give it a shot. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you run into any, any issues. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Believe it or not, I do my best to read all the comments on my videos, and I also try to respond to all of them. So let me know your thoughts in the comments of this video. But hey, thank you so much for walk, watching. Happy hacking. I will catch you in the next one.